It's an immigration fight that is now heading to the Supreme Court. Today, a constitutional law expert in Dallas predicted the nation's highest court will eventually have to decide the federal lawsuit the Biden administration filed against the state of Texas. Fox 7 Austin's chief political reporter Rudy Kosky joins us in studio with the details. Rudy. Hi, Rebecca. Yeah, that federal lawsuit was filed right here in Austin. It's an attempt by the Biden administration to strike down SB4, which is set to take effect in March. The new law making it a state crime for undocumented migrants to cross the border between ports of entry is based on existing trespass law. The first offense is a class B misdemeanor, which increases to a felony for repeat offenders. Migrants can avoid jail and get charges dropped if they accept a ride back to a border bridge and return to Mexico. Now today, Governor Greg Abbott in appearances on Fox News said the administration's border policy is destroying the country. Constitutional law expert David Cole spoke to me this morning. He told me this legal battle reboots the 2012 Supreme Court ruling that struck down an Arizona deportation law. This one is the uh, clearest challenge to the U.S. Supreme Court's reasoning in United States versus Arizona that we've seen in a while. Uh, and that is, we are actually involved in three legal actions uh, with the Biden administration right now, where the Biden administration uh, is trying to stop Texas uh, from denying illegal entry into the country. Here's the point. Uh, if the Biden administration would put that time into securing the border, as opposed to stopping Texas from securing the border, then we wouldn't have a problem whatsoever. It's ultimately a question of history. I mean, is it something that states have always been able to do, or is it part of the limited set of powers that were given exclusively to the federal government and the Constitution? But the law really isn't a deportation law. It's just the judge gives the person the option, do you want to go back to the bridge, or do you want to go to jail? So yeah. is it really a de deportation law? Yeah, that's the, that's an interesting question. I mean, it also is a wrinkle that isn't in the Supreme Court guidance we have on this. So is that the wiggle room? Is that the, the loophole that the state gets? Is that the immigrant gets the choice of, yeah, I'll go back or I'll go to jail for trespass? That's, that's certainly what Texas is arguing. I think the federal government's position is that the entire process of sending somebody out of the U.S. is inherently federal because it has to be. At every step of the way, from when you first get someone in the pipeline to when you give them options and have defenses and hearings is something that has to be national. So there's one national coordinated policy. Uh, the, whether they're right about that is the issue that this case presents. Can the state kind of go right up to that line or get a little bit in that process without invading uh, the area that is exclusively federal under the Constitution? So there's plenty here for the courts to chew on. Certainly an interesting discussion there. Now, in December, several immigration advocates filed a federal lawsuit against the Texas law. That case could be rolled into the lawsuit filed Wednesday by the Justice Department. Cole expects the administration will likely win the initial court fight here in Austin. That will set in motion uh, a trip to the Supreme Court, of course. Uh, what's certain, what's uncertain, I should say, is whether or not this federal, the federal courts will allow SB4 to take effect in March, or if a restraining order will be allowed blocking enforcement.